Hey guys, we're back here for some more Historic. Um, this is the most updated version of the Is It Wizards deck that I've been trying out here. Um, I did get some very useful comments and feedback from you guys, which I greatly appreciate. And also just kind of went through sort of a couple different ideas. Um, one great one here, which has really been a nice change, is the addition of Fading Hope. Um, this has been a card that has been able to not only protect your own stuff against really removal heavy decks but also deal with some very powerful threats from decks um, like the the hammer equip deck the equipment deck and then um, it's also great in the mirror as well so it's been sort of a nice nice change here i sort of went back and forth on monstrous rage but it really is just amazing um it's so good with arcanist and um it's also nice as tech against the mirror because most of our guys have three toughness and so when they go to wizard lightning like our symmetry sage or whatever we can just monstrous rage and make it an x4 for the blowout so that's been really pretty clutch also um, and then consider i've decided to run this over sleight of hand just now that we're running cards like fading hope and so we can sort of do more sort of tricky stuff on their turn. So like if we don't, if we hold up Fading Hope but don't use it, then we can just consider instead to give ourselves flexibility. So all that said, um, yeah, I made a couple changes. I added one Snapcaster Mage since so many of the spells are so, so low to the ground, um, <clears throat> especially after taking out the Flames of Anor, the Expressive Iterations, um, which are just sort of more expensive and Snapcaster Mage really shines when the spells that it's flashing back are super cheap. So all that said, we are currently at, I think, Diamond Tier 4, so slowly moving up. But um, yeah, I really want to sort of hash out the best of one just to get a feel for what the main board's supposed to look like. And then from there, start working on best of three, preparing for the qualifier weekend on the weekend of the 17th and 18th um, or 18th and 19th, whatever it is. So yeah. Anyways, let's get into some games. <clears throat> if you are new to the channel here or if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you do like the content, <clears throat> please can do, do consider dropping a comment or a like. It really does help the channel. Um, or if you are new, consider subscribing if you like it. Um, yeah, hand looks great. Pretty much I'm looking for any hand that has at least one creature in it. And then the other really nice thing with Fading Hope is it just it helps protect your threats. Since we only have 16 creatures in the entire deck, being able to protect them is a pretty big game. Esper Sentinel, never a fun card to see the opponent run. Um, here, I think we just want to sort of get some stuff out. So I think we just go Arcanist here and then try to set up a big next turn. So I think we're just going to accept the fact that they're going to be drawing some cards here. I don't want to waste time killing their Sentinel. Um, Spirit Dancer, on the other hand, is a card worth killing. So I think, or I suppose we could also just Fading Hope it, but... Yeah, I think let's, um, I guess let's Wizard Lightning... And we're just gonna let them take an extra card here. And then now we can Monstrous Rage and sort of go nuts. And I guess we could take out their 1-1, one, one, but I don't really care. I think I'm just gonna trample over it.
And then hopefully we should be able to burn them out with Static Discharge next turn. Yeah, so they're going to draw some cards, but we don't really care. <clears throat> I guess we can also uh, Reckless Charge our Symmetry Sage. Uh, that works too. Yeah, and then we can use that to make this a 3-3 and then do all kinds of nonsense. So that, that looks good. Yeah, that's going to do it. Again, happy to keep here. We've got at least one creature. Got some interaction. And hopefully the Fading Hope should be pretty good against the Mirror Match. So this is kind of where um, you might want to get a little bit tricky instead of playing Symmetry Sage this turn because they can just go like Sage or Skull, Soul Scar Mage and then burn it out. I think we might want to have like Fading Hope up. So... We could try to like smoke it out with like the Soul Scar Mage, and maybe they just kill our Soul Scar Mage, and that's okay. We could also just Fading Hope whatever they play, and I kind of like that. Yeah, like that's a really nice Fading Hope. Just time walk them a little bit. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of land coming, so that looks good. Let's see, actually, we want to have access to double blue. So like here we just Symmetry Sage and then hold up Fading Hope in case they try to kill our guy again. We could also Reckless Charge here, but again, I want to have Fading Hope open. Um, and then I guess, do we want a Soul Scar Mage? I think we've got enough going on here with two guys, so I don't think we need it. So now I definitely want, I think we should save Wizard's Lightning for their Dreadhorde uh, Arcanist. Um, question is, do we run out Soul Scar Mage here? I think we go Symmetry Sage. And then we can go, I suppose we can go Soul Scar and just try to set up for next turn. Um, or we could start beating down with like Reckless Charge. We could like Soul Scar plus Reckless Charge. And then maybe they kill some of our stuff. But I don't think they kill both of our things. Um, I guess maybe they can. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to hold the Wizard Lightning here. In case they've got Reckless Charge for Dreadhorde Arcanist.
question is, do we hold this for the Dread Horde? Um, I guess Dread Horde can get back sleight of hand currently. I'm not really worried about the Soul Scar as much. I think we just let this happen. We could try to unlock Gigantha here. Be kind of nice to have some creatures, but I think we want to keep going on the mana. Um, yeah, I guess if they don't have Reckless Charge, we can wait a turn. So maybe let's just kind of keep advancing our board. We could have also drawn cards here with Fire Isla, that might have been better. I guess we can just Wizard's Lightning and then wait for Gigant the next turn. Although, actually, let's see. Yeah, maybe we should have Lightning the Symmetry Sage on our turn, actually, come to think of it. see yeah do they just kill us I guess they can recast sleight of hand but that's it unless they can buff their guy somehow I will say the Flames of Anna are pretty good in the, in the mirror. Just being able to refill. But I really don't like the card. Uh, I think it's, it's fine. Maybe it's a necessary evil. I don't know. It just seems just too slow and dirtily for me. There's another build of the deck that runs like Birthday Escape and Ranger's Firebrand and like Rivendell, um, which does look interesting, like with the the ring tempts you. Um, but I really I'm, I'm trying out kind of the uh, the Monstrous Rage, which I do think is really good. I think it's such a nice addition to the deck, and then finding the room for those extra eight cards. I guess you could like consider cutting like. Maybe consider, and then not sure what else you would cut. You probably have to cut Rage, but I think Rage is pretty good. All right, this hand looks great. We've got at least one threat. We can hopefully draw into some more. Let's see, are we gonna need double red on two? I don't think so. So I think we can safely go ahead and set this up as our blue source. Okay. 
Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, I think we're gonna need two steam vents here. Like, I suppose we could soak in Zen, but I think we're just gonna have to anyways. Then I think we wanna try to recast. Like if we get wizard lightning twice, that'd be great. Yeah, so now we can wizard lightning. Let's see, I suppose we could um, wizard lightning. Actually, we can symmetry sage, wizard lightning, plus monstrous rage, and that should get us there. I guess we can reckless rage, actually. Um, that works, too. Now we just wizard lightning the other arch druid. And now we can Balmore plus Monstrous Rage. That should be enough. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Just kind of easing myself into learning more about the deck. Um, would love your guys' feedback, especially those of you who are veterans of Historic and have like played this deck before. Um, but uh, at any rate, thank you so much for watching. We ended up going two and one today. Um, overall with the deck, the stats, I know I've changed the build quite a few times, but um, with the current season, we are looking at overall 65% win rate. So 13 wins, seven losses as a whole. Um, the most recent version is just two and one. Previous version, I think did a little bit better, but yeah, overall 65%, so pretty happy with it. Um, we will see you here in the next one.